you're really concerned that Robin could be kidnapped? Yeah, of course I'm concerned. Because it could happen. Come on, you're overreacting. No, I'm not. It happened to Paul. It happened to me. The circumstances then were completely different. and nothing whatsoever to do with it. Circumstances are changing constantly. And the ones that you face, all of us, and including Robin, are getting even more dangerous. Not if I handle it correctly. I can be very careful. I'm giving you a chance to inform the Jerome family so that I can write my doctor on them and back you up legally. But now, I realize the longer you remain in the mob, the more dangerous it is for my daughter, and that scares me to death. No one's going to hurt her, I promise you, Anne. You can't promise that. I wanted her to come home with me today, but I didn't want her to find out that we separated because it would break her heart. And not only that, it's more dangerous for her back in Port Charles than it would be in the camp. I need just a little more time. How much more time? I'm not sure. I realize that time is running out, and what about Robert? What about him? If anything were to happen to Robin, he would come after you. And you, or both of you, would wind up dead, and you know it. Would you like a drink, Angel? Uh, no, thank you, Miss St. John. I think I should be going. I'll just keep you another minute. Okay, how can I help? Do you think that the number that was then on the club was the work of a bunch of kids? Probably not. It was a professional job, I'm sure of it. You are? Angel, I may look like a helpless female, but I'm not, I assure you. I was raised in New York. I've seen the work of a lot of the mobs firsthand. Look, Miss St. John, I know you can take care of yourself. But Ken Duke... If the Jerome family is to be turned around, the only one that can do it is Duke. Oh, oh my goodness. Then you know what Duke is trying to do in New York. Duke and I don't have any secrets. I didn't think you would. You care a lot about him, don't you? Yes, ma'am. I really do. Then don't you think it would be easier for him to accomplish what he's trying to do in New York with the Jerome family if he were to live there full time? It would certainly be safer for Robin and Anna. I never thought about it that way. Do. You know, you're probably right now that I think about it. Oh, uh, listen, I'll talk to you later in St. John. Thank you, Angel. Okay. Hello? Hi. Listen, I'm at the police department. Oh, is this your one phone call? <laughs> no. We found Robin. Oh, I'm glad. And Robert will be bringing me home soon. And you would prefer if I not be here. Something like that. I can't go on Solomon forever. I understand. I'll be on my way. Thanks. Bye-bye. I'll just move down the floor. Duke's my partner. He won't mind if we share an office. Why do we have to keep saying the same thing over and over again? It doesn't seem to make any impression on you unless I do. You're wrong. Prove it. How long is it going to take you for this to own thing? I don't know. See what I mean? So you think I'm wrong, do what I'm doing? Yes. Of course I do. It's very noble, but it's foolish. I'm a noble kind of guy. Ah, one of the reasons I love you, I suppose. Do you? What? Love me. You know I do. I wouldn't be here otherwise. I wouldn't have trusted you with Robin either. It's been nice spending time with you. Yeah, it has. You're beautiful. Oh, God. I didn't think anyone was here. Duke, I thought you were away. Good to be home. 
I wouldn't know. I don't have one. Yes, you do. It's especially good because I'm not alone. You're trying to tell me in your roundabout fashion. If you were here alone, that you'd miss me. Hmm? Yeah. Hmm? I would. You know, you were uh, quite a guide into the vicious unknown today. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, I was so afraid for Robin. I had no idea whether or not I could make it to that secret place. I kind of figured that. However, I will say that I've never seen a more crooked straight line in all my life. I had to go around the trees. Three and four and five times, Sullivan. I did yeah. not. You I... did, really? Oh, no, I did. Jane of the jungle here. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, I appreciated the help, and I know Robin did, too. She's a sweet girl. You're lucky. Mm-hmm, I know that. On the way back to camp, she told me about the visit uh, to her uh, secret place and talk of fantasies, whatever that meant. That was supposed to be just for the girl. It's all right. Her lips are sealed, and I'm sure that your secrets are secret. Mm -hmm. Maybe you'll find out some of my secrets. Maybe we'll try a few. I've got some dillies. <laughs> I'm planning on going to New York tomorrow. I thought I would get ahead of the game and bring my bags down here so I wouldn't have to lug them in the morning. Angel could have done that for you. I didn't think of that. Did you find Robin, Anna? Yes, we did. Is she all right? She's fine. I'm glad I know how much she means. I, I have to be leaving, Dick. Don't go on my account. Oh, I I'm not. No, 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 I'll drive you. It's okay, my car's on second. Call you in the morning. Yeah. Mr. John? What the hell kind of game is this? It's, it's not a game. Robert Scorpio has bringing Cheryl to her apartment upstairs. I thought it would be a good idea if I cleared out. Oh. I assume they were at the camp looking for Robin with you. Right. I didn't think you'd mind if I shared your office with you. Oh, you don't have to share it. Be my guest. Have no bloody place to yourself. Where are you going? To find myself a bed. Where? Who the hell knows? conversation for this evening, okay? Okay. 
Look, I'm feeling a little grimy after my jaunt through the jungle, so I might uh, uh, head off and have a hot shower. Why don't you have a hot shower? Thank you. 